The weather we've seen the last two days is unusual for this time of the year. We're in the dry season, so typically we get all that sunshine, beautiful, warm temperatures. But today, overcast skies with, again, quite a bit of rain out there. We're going to see some spot showers again on Tuesday, but nothing like we've seen the last two days. Drier air arrives on Wednesday. Could still see a spot shower. And then this weekend, we have another cold front coming in. But will it make a difference? We'll see. There's some showers that are trying to develop again, again, along the coastal areas of Broward County. Broward County has been busy this evening. We've had these little showers kind of coming in from the Atlantic, moving across the Fort Lauderdale area. Now Aventura down to North Miami, uh, Miami Shores. You're picking up some rain again. And these little showers can put down quite a bit of rain in a short period of time. So you really have to watch low lying areas, those flood prone areas, those highways, the roads, especially the right lanes. Those are the ones where the puddles really tend to, to form there. So be careful. This little shower has moved off to the west. Now look how it's as weakened just in the last 15 minutes or so. So that's what happens. They move on land and then they begin to die. This is how much we've had over the past six hours, at least uh, radar estimates as much as an inch, maybe inch and a half in spots there. This would be just to the south of Pompano Beach, a little bit less around Fort Lauderdale and about a half an inch though around the Tamarack area. And it's really been focused on those areas. So here's some other spots today. Coral Gables picked up an inch, almost an inch and a third. Sweetwater, almost an inch and a half there. Kendall, 1.16. North Lauderdale, inch and a quarter. And because of the rain and that onshore flow, that easterly wind, we're going to continue with the coastal flooding right along the coastal areas. You can follow that all the way down through the Keys. And then in particular, right here, this is the upper Keys. We have a coastal flood advisory. That's due to saltwater flooding. And with that flow, that persistent easterly flow, you're going to have some water coming up on the roads and so forth. Plus all the rain that we've had. The Keys picked up a lot of rain this, this evening as well. So these little showers will be ongoing overnight. We're not going to stop that, uh, I think, even into tomorrow morning. So, again, your commute could be a slow one with those spot showers popping up, not storms, but showers. By the afternoon, pushing off to the west or north, so we'll get a break then. And then again on Wednesday, a spot shower, definitely not out of the question. We could see them. And now on Thursday, the modeling is painting on a couple of showers. I think those would be sea breeze driven. And over the next uh, day or so, we could pick up another inch or maybe a couple of inches. Frontal system, it's a, it's a stalled out front just does not want to move out of the way. So there we have it. Thanksgiving still looking good, though. We should have dry conditions, temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So here's the next seven days. We'll bring those temperatures into the lower 80s Tuesday and Wednesday with a chance for a shower, mainly dry Thursday and Friday. And then this weekend, here comes the cold front, but it doesn't really drop the temperatures. Overnight lows in the 60s, chance for showers on Sunday, but this is not going to have a lot of an effect.